So we're here at uh, Computex. So who are you? I'm Biju Play from the OMAP User Experience Team at TI. So uh, what do you do? Okay. So I would start with maybe, um, I'll show you a couple of exciting demos on uh, OMAP 5. OMAP 5 is the uh, latest and greatest in the application processor family from uh, TI. Uh, I will start with uh, 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 UI demonstration. So what you can see here is a multi-layered UI. Today the smartphones are coming here with high resolution displays and the UIs are going to be uh, heavily multi-layered. So what we are really showing is the platform's capability to render multi-layered UI on high resolution display. So you can see this complexity of this UI and you can see the fluidity which it is rendering. You can see the frame rate on the uh, uh, top left corner, the second number. So that is same as the refresh rate of the LCD. So um, You could do more. You could do more, definitely. Yes. So if you had a... If you have a high resolution display which is having a high refresh rate, definitely we can go beyond this thing. So how, currently how far can you go? Is um, if we we have done some tests with unlocking the vSync of this particular display, so it's going up to 90 frames per second. Mm. So here you can see a game. Again, this is showing the graphics capability of the platform. This is a game from Crytek, um, which is optimized for the dual core SGX 544. This game is called Fable. Yes. So when you see about optimization, so the uh, texture compression, which is specific for. Um, uh, the SGX core and uh, the way uh, you know the tile-based deferred rendering utilization and stuff like that, and also we have done some uh, you know specific uh, on-site optimizations. So I will take you to the next demo. This is basically showing the um, video accelerator capabilities. The OMAP5 has a powerful um, imaging and video accelerator, which can do multi-standard video encoding and decoding up to full HD. So what we are showing here is um, a 1080p H.264 high-profile content which is encoded at 60 frames per second, 15 megabits per second. So you can see the quality of the video. So this is done in fully um, accelerated in hardware. So we are not consuming uh, MIPS from uh, the MPU or the GPU to do this kind of uh, intensive operations, multi operations. How high can it go? This is, is the maximum? 60 frames per second. You can go higher in terms of megabits per second in terms of yeah. compression, but right now it's at 15 megabits per second. I will also take you a graphic comparison we did recently. So this is comparing the OMF5 platform's graphics capability with um, the graphic capability of the market-leading tablet. So you can see... So uh, it's the tablet that sells the most right now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what you can see here is it's a standard Kishon the GL Benchmark 2.5. We are running one of the heavier test cases in that. Uh, just to really represent the platform's capability in rendering complex graphical scene and how well it can perform for uh, complex UIs and complex games. So here what you see is on the left side, OMAP5 rendering those scenes and on the right side, um, of course, the, um, the market leading tablet. Uh, we can wait for a few seconds and you can see the, um, the final result in FPS. Uh, fast forward. Frames. So who's going to win? Let's see in 20 Let's seconds. See. 20 seconds, yeah. so... Uh, I will fast forward probably a little more for you. 8, 6 seconds. Yeah, so here is the result. So you can see the on-screen and off-screen results. GI OMAP 5 outperforms in terms of uh, graphic capability compared to the other device. So this is the final result. So you can see the on-screen numbers and off-screen numbers. This is a fixed time benchmark. So whoever is rendering more frames has seen the highest, highest FPS. And I'll also uh, OMAP 5 can definitely support Retina displays. Hi, we can go up to 25, uh, 60 by 1600. Yeah. And you can also see where do we stand in terms, um, you know, compared to other devices. So here, the, it's exactly the same test, run on off-screen, 1080p. You can who see the that? FPS numbers. <laughs> it's, it's on competition. And who is that one? Nobody knows. I'm going to guess. No, can I guess? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's move to how well the HTML5 uh, performance can be on uh, OMAP5 device. So what I'm showing here is a CSS 3D carousel, right, which is accelerated on. So this is a web page you can see there. I'll just uh, position it little up so you can see the animation. Uh, so what you see here is a CSS 3D carousel, and each face of this carousel have different HTML5 elements. You can see canvas, text, animated GIF, video tag, uh, multiple elements. Uh, these are accelerated in um, in our hardware, meaning uh, the video tag goes to the uh, imaging and video accelerator, and canvas is accelerated using neon core. 
So what does that really mean is if you're having an HTML5 page, uh, having these multiple elements, you get a better browsing experience at a low power budget. So is it uh, as fast as a, uh, is it faster than Intel Atom? Uh, How could you compare it to what people use on uh, laptops today? Is it going to be like... Yes, it's, it's, you can see that performance is very uh, appealing. Yes, that's true. So these are the OMAP5 demos? Right, on my uh, file demos, what we have now. They get updated based on the latest you can show? Or? So, yes, that's correct. So this is the uh, updated version of the demos, what you've seen from, uh, you know. So what's the, the next step with OMAP 5? What's going to happen then? It's just... Uh, we are working on enabling what you... You might have seen other technologies here which we enabled on OMAP 4, so we are working on migrating all of them to the OMAP 5 with better performance. So there's lots of uh, uh, hacking going on in terms of uh, optimizing Linux? Optimizing. We are working software. on various high level OSs, putting on uh, OMAP 5. Hardware acceleration? Yes, There's enabling more on to, hardware acceleration. To be done. Right. So the results are going to be even higher? Yes, definitely. So what you can see the Auckland Reality demos on the other side of the board, which is running on OMAP 4. So we will be migrating all of those use cases, uh, you know, teleconferencing use cases, uh, Auckland Reality, games. All those things will be migrating to OMAP 5. And these devices are in the hands of a few people? Who uh, are those people that are right now having this? We are giving it to our developers and uh, potential customers. So within TI and a little bit outside, outside as well? Outside, yeah, yes. And right. the third parties as well as customers. But it's not like on a website people can buy? No, there is nothing like uh, not so far the community-based uh, platforms are not available yet. Yeah. What's the next... Uh, uh, after panda board going to be called? Is it going to be lion board or elephant board or <laughs> is there nobody uh, I cannot comment on anything on that right now. Okay. Yeah, but there will be a community board available uh, for. Okay.